Hey everyone, Steph here. Now, if you are looking to elevate your look with one simple item other than a designer bag, a designer belt can be a great way to achieve this. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you through five designer belts that are classic and timeless that can be a perfect addition to anyone's wardrobe. But in the spirit of luxury minimalism, at the end of the video, I'm going to be revealing out of the five designer belts, which one I think is the best and why. I will also pop a link up here for you and down below to the Handbagholic site where I've pulled together a more extensive list of designer belts for women and men. By the end of this video, you are going to know which designer belt is going to be perfect for you. If you are new to this channel and love designer bags and luxury in general, then welcome to the family. Make sure you join us by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below. What I will also do as I go through this video, if you like any of the belts, I will pop links to them in the same place in the description so you can go and purchase them. Belt number one is the Gucci Marmont belt. Um, so this is the belt that I have and I decided to get the black leather version. This is the, this is the thick one. Let me get this the right way around. There we go. So you can kind of see what that looks like. It does fit through like normal jean hoops. So you can wear this. And I decided to go for the bigger one just because it makes more of a statement. Okay, so when it comes to the Gucci Marmont belt, this is probably one of the most popular designer belts. For the past few years now, this seems to be the one that a lot of people want. And I think it was maybe last year, maybe 2019 kind of time, a lot of influencers were wearing this belt. Uh, you can get it in different colors. You can get it in a dusty pink, which is really nice. You can get it in a, a tan color get them in different thicknesses if you don't want one quite this big and with a much smaller GG on there. If you want something maybe slightly more understated because this is quite a large chunky belt. A lot of influencers are now bashing this. They're saying that this is like a super basic belt. Everyone's got the belt. To a degree, I understand exactly where they are coming from, but that did not put me off getting the Marmont belt because the reason it's so popular is because it's simple, it's statement, and I still think it looks great. Out of the designer belts that I'm about to take you through, this is actually one of the cheapest. Uh, so this one, I believe, retails around £350 here in the UK. So probably just over $500 in the US. Like I said, I will pop links in the description box down below for you if you want to go and purchase. Next up is this belt from Louis Vuitton. I have selected probably the, the simplest, most classic style because there are a range of belts to choose from from Louis Vuitton. This is the monogram and black leather version. So this is a reversible belt. Um, I really like the idea of a belt being reversible. My Gucci Marmont isn't, so I can only use it one way. It's black and gold. This you could have the monogram um, and then you've got the LV logo as the buckle or you can use it as the black leather for a more understated look. So you are almost getting two belts for the price of one here. I really, really like that. Now this retails at just under 400 pounds here in the UK. I, be I believe it's 395 pounds. I'll flash the price on here. I have quite a few Louis Vuitton bags and what I wouldn't want to do is overkill, like monogram everything and then monogram belt. But I do think, for example, if I was wearing like a Louis Vuitton bag like this one, so this is leather, you've kind of got the Louis Vuitton Lock Me logo on there then I would wear this with the belt and I would either, I'd probably wear the black leather version actually, or the monogram. I don't know if I'd wear the monogram and like a monogram bag too. That might be uh, like quite a lot visually in terms of monogram. But overall, I feel like this belt is classy. You can mix it up. You can have a little bit of fun with the print there or you can go for the staple solid black leather. And I don't think this is a ridiculous price 
for a reversible designer belt. Now a belt from Fendi. This is the FF belt. This is the most classic uh, belt from their range. They obviously, again, do different belts. Um, but I really like this one. It's in a simple leather, similar to the Gucci Marmont belt. It retails at 300, sorry, I've got the price here, so I remember it, 360 pounds here in the UK. You can get it in tan, you can get it in a dark colored tan, and I believe you can also get this in a black. So I would go for black if you were looking for a classic, but I do actually like this in the tan color, especially with the gold hardware. So this one overall looks good. It's not reversible, so that's worth bearing in mind. I would probably pick the Louis Vuitton belt over this one because the Louis Vuitton is a reversible one, so therefore you will get more value for money. But obviously Louis Vuitton is a quite a common brand and some people don't like Louis Vuitton as a brand or maybe, you know, don't want to kind of do the overkill thing. So I think Fendi is a really good one. Not overly popular, you, like you don't see them everywhere, but I'm sure very good quality from the brand with this one. Another classic from Christian Dior. This is the Montaigne belt. Now, very simple again. This is a really great option if you don't want a Gucci or a Louis Vuitton, which those are the two you're probably most likely to see walking down the street. Um, the Christian Dior one uh, retails at £590. There's a few colours that you can pick from and you've got the CD logo on the front. So I guess for a lot of people, uh, the Louis Vuitton logo maybe the Gucci logo as well, are quite recognisable because they're popular brands. Christine Dior, I do think it would be recognisable, but to, to some people, because it's not as well known, they might not actually know what designer it's from. Some people re will really like that because it's like less obvious in your face designer, but it does look really, really nice. Um, Dior stuff is incredible quality. So again, as with the Fendi one, I think you will be buying a really nice belt. So the only thing I would say is this is quite expensive, nearly £600 in the UK, just less than, and it's not reversible. And I do find this with Dior across the board. They're kind of like in between Louis Vuitton and Chanel kind of prices, but I don't see any reason as to why, if that makes sense, like the quality is good. Um, but yeah, for me, I would still opt for the Louis Vuitton one or even the Gucci one, to be honest, at half the price. Um, but yeah, if you are a big fan of Christian Dior, this could be the one. I do think they look really chic and definitely very timely. And finally, we have the Hermes Clemence belt. If you go on the Hermes website and look at belts, Oh my gosh, there are so many to choose from, like different buckles, different widths, different colours. So I'm going to save you loads of time because there's only one that you really need to pay attention to um, if you want something that is quite simple, understated from the Hermes brands. That's, that's kind of what the brand is all about. I don't feel like it's super shouty in any way. Um, yeah, is the Clemence spell and you can get the thin version or the thicker one. The thicker one is 38 millimeters. The thin one is 32. The thinner one uh, retails at 674 pounds in the UK. The thicker one retails at 790 pounds. So by far the most expensive um, that we've looked at so far, but it's Hermes. It's kind of seen as the pinnacle of luxury brands almost if you like Hermes. And I would go for the Clemence um, belt with the brushed metal H and I would get the black leather and then you, because they're reversible, you get to pick the other color on the other side. Uh, I do really like the bright orange. I think that's really nice, but I would go safe. I would go with the gold, which is the tan color because I definitely know I would wear the black and the tan. I'd probably wear the tan more, but it's always nice to have a black option too. So even though they are the most expensive option, I would spend that extra uh, few hundred pounds on the Hermes version as opposed to the Christian Dior belt because you can reverse it. So again, it's like you're getting two belts for the price of one. I promised at the start of this video that I would reveal out of the five designer belts that I've just taken you through, which one I think is the best and why. So this is an interesting one because obviously I have the Gucci Marmont belt. I have had this for about two years and I only wear it on special occasions like belts 
on my uh, thing, bags off. Um, I'm more interested in bags than I am belts. And yeah, recently I did a video on, like I said, luxury minimalism, but I did another one on luxury basics. So seven luxury basics that I think every wardrobe needs. And once you've got these things, you don't necessarily really need any other luxury items. And for me, a belt is, I don't need more than one belt, I don't think. Maybe like a waist belt and then like a normal jeans belt. Other than that, belts really don't interest me that much. So which one is the best belt and why? I wouldn't say it's the Gucci Marmont belt. Um, the best belt I would say is the Hermes H belt. The reason being is it's much, um, it just seems like higher quality than the other belts. It's the most expensive one that we've been through, but it is reversible. And I think it's one of the best reversible examples that we've seen. Uh, you just take the buckle off and switch the belt round. And I think the fact you can pick from so many colors, like with the other brands, like the Louis Vuitton, where it's reversible, there's a few to pick from, but Hermes, um, just with the leathers that you can pick, the different buckle combinations, like you are bound to find um, the perfect Hermes belt for you. They are a big investment, but it's, it's Hermes. Um, they're probably going to hold their value very well. And I would definitely though, make sure I don't get a shiny buckle version. So. For me, I am going to be selling my Marmont belt uh, to help fund my new Hermes H belt. Now, if you want to become more of a conscious luxury spender and to stop wanting more designer goods all the time, then stay tuned because coming up next, I've got two videos for you. The first one is on how to become a luxury minimalist and the second one on the seven luxury basics every wardrobe needs. And after you've got these, you don't need any other luxury items. You will be set. Enjoy those videos coming up next.